Level check. Hello, I'm Paddy from creativemedia.org.uk and I'm here with another product review. Now, what on earth is this? Could it be some kind of folding Harley Davidson motorbike? Well, no, it's not. It is, in fact, a workbench. Not like one of these workbenches, it's wobbly with its four legs, it needs a really flat surface. And although nobody would really be sawing like this, it'd be nice to have something that would stay put and not keep moving around. I often use mine on the grass, it's always wobbling around and it bends. It's a real pain with those two handles. I tend to get a bit lazy rather than take it out and put it in the right way around to ensure an accurate cut. So my work suffers a bit as well and I think I really can blame my tools. Now this is our Triton Super Jaws. As you can see it's great on uneven surfaces. It's got rubbery feet which means it grips quite nicely. There are holes in these feet as well so you can screw it down or use some tent pegs outside to keep it in one place. It's super sturdy, it's me standing on it. I weigh about 10 stone and it can cope with me quite nicely and it doesn't fall over even with an uneven base. But all that sturdiness comes at a cost, not only financial cost but it weighs around 15 kilograms so it's quite a beast to lug around. So I'm going to put it up here it's not too complicated. Make sure you put it in correctly, otherwise things like these legs will fall down unless you push it in the slot. These clip up with little spring clips, which seem sturdy enough. And here's the pedal, which does the main clamping action. It has another clip on it. It's not too heavy to turn over, but here's the problem I've got with it. The jaws have a nice rubbery covering on them. The plastic they're made out of is not really up to standards. And the very first time I closed the jaws, the plastic lugs broke that hold these things on. I had to fix them, which wasn't too hard. I just used some bolts and they've stayed on quite nicely ever since. I've heard of other people that have had these for years and they've not had any trouble at all like that. Maybe it's the luck of the batch, whether you get a good plastic or a bad plastic. These rubbery covers for the clamps can be removed and replaced with log holders or with metal surfaces for engineering and metalwork. Or since there's just two simple holes, you can make all kinds of gadgets yourself and just bolt them on. So here's how it works. You pull the jaws shut with your fingers, press down the red button, press on the pedal, and then it's really solidly held. You can put a lot of pressure on there because it uses a ratchet. You can probably squash your hands in there if you're not careful, so take care. To get the work out again, you put the red switch up, press the pedal again, and then the jaws are released and you can get the work out. The great thing about this operation is you only need one hand and a foot to do it, so you can hold two bits of work together like I'm doing here, maybe for gluing, and carry on holding them while you clamp them. None of that trying to do the one-handed tightening of the vise while you're holding on to something at the same time. And you can see here it's quite sturdy, I mean you wouldn't normally be sawing so far away from the clamp, but it stays in place. And like I said earlier, it's so easy to take the work out and put it in again. And that means you're not inclined to be lazy. You can put the work in the right way around for the kind of work you're doing, rather than trying to saw sideways or upside down just because you're too lazy to take it out and put it in again. Large work, well this piece is too large for the clamps, but maybe it's not. If I pull the bed off, turn it around the other way, put it back on, suddenly I've got a much larger clamping width. You can even fit a door in there and it just operates in exactly the same way. Put down the switch, press the pedal, and you can see the clamping pressure has actually bent my wood there. It's very versatile, so I'm using it here as a bike stand. You could put a door in there at an odd angle to paint it and reposition it to paint the bits you've missed. You can use it as an impromptu tool holder for grinding. I wouldn't recommend this. And I've made myself a gadget here, Level check. which I can clamp into it. I can use the slot I've cut for making 45 degree mitre cuts. And it works really well with my track saw. I can clamp the track onto the piece of wood that I've made. And then I can use the horse, which is heavy enough to hold the saw without falling over. And I can cut like a lengthwise slot in a piece of wood, which I do quite a lot for making picture frames or I could use the reverse bed and cut across wood to make lap joints. I could put two or three or four pieces of wood in there at once, cut across all of the four of them with several cuts and then just chisel out the remains and I'd have an even lap joint like that, which would save me a lot of time. 
given how inaccurate my cutting is, this is the best way for me to do this kind of thing. Let's collapse this thing now we've finished work. You have to turn it over, this seems to work best for me. Turn it on its back, you pull up the clip on the pedal, it pulls it down flat, pull up the clips on the legs, this feels sturdy enough. And then you unscrew the single leg, pull it up, push it under the clip. This acts as a kind of handle. Do up the handle nice and tight and slide it into the clip. Otherwise there's a risk that's going to slip out. I'm a bit wary of using this single leg as a carrying handle because it's totally relying on this quite small clip to carry all that 15 kilograms of weight plus the jolting around. If that slipped out, then <laughs> it's going to be painful on the foot. There's also a safety mechanism to stop the bed sliding off which is worth putting on because I dropped it on my foot once. So all in all, I'd recommend the Triton Super Jaws. It's so much easier than using workbench and all that fiddling around. It's just so quick, it's a single-handed operation. It's just a pleasure to use. I paid around £80 for mine. If you like my videos, please do share them, put them on your playlists, subscribe, like, etc. Thanks for watching, enjoy your woodworking.